Alright guys, I'm Austin Cabal and the topic that I wanted to discuss today are controversial hirings in the coaching division. Um, no matter what school you're at, for the example I'm going to use is Steve Sarkeesian. Uh, he obviously worked for USC and last year in the middle of the season or the beginning of the season they decided to fire him because of his alcoholism and coming to work drunk. Um, whether it be practices, meetings with the team, um, there's a specific video of him at a donor event using foul language and slurring his words. And then, of course, once they fired him, there was talks of him not really being blacklisted, but um, analysts said that they really shouldn't find him in another coaching position. And we can look at our Riles with his sexual assault scandal at Baylor. Analysts have very similar feelings with him as well, that he shouldn't be <laughs> coach anywhere else until his scandal dies down. So the issue with that, that ties into branding, as you can see up here, I talked about brand equity, and for Alabama to go out and hire Steve Sarkeesian just a year after his alcoholism has come to light is very, very risky, and they would be getting a lot of um, bad feedback if he were to slip up and go back into his alcoholism. It's an addiction that follows you throughout life, and it's very easy to slip up on again. So in my case, I would say that there is much more liability in this case than an asset for Alabama. Even though he's just in an analyst role where he's gonna analyze film from practice and game and then give feedback on the actual game itself and the game plan, it's just not safe for that university um, for the setback that they would face if he were to embarrass them like he did at USC. Again, just to get out, it's controversial. And then as far as brand associations go, we've talked about this in class before, where if a university makes a controversial decision, are they valuing winning over their image for the fans? Or are they really doing this because they trusted him and he got help and he's better? Um, so for myself, I said, you know, the, the, like, universities like Penn State with Joe Potter, anything like that, when you're willing to support a coach over their skill set versus what they actually bring to your brand, are they supporting your brand? you start to compromise what everyone else sees your university for instead of just, hey, we're here to put a good quality team on, good ethics, good morals. So as far as where I see in the future, I've said it before in this class, I think the university at the end of the day is gonna wanna do what's gonna make them the most money. And Steve Sarkeesian is a great mind in football, he is just a great risk as well. So if he's gonna go back and he's truly better, went to rehab or fixed his drinking issue, that is all damn and fine, but again, like I said, alcoholism is a disease that follows you for the rest of your life, and it is easy to slip up. So I'm not saying he shouldn't get a chance ever again, but I'm just saying a year after he got fired from a high profile university might be too soon to hire him. That being said, that's my presentation on brand positioning and brand image with Steve Sarkeesian.